After seven years of marriage, I thought I understood my wife's quiet nature until her first love returned. Now she's a completely different person, and I'm left questioning if I was ever more than a placeholder. I have been married to my wife for seven years and we met eight years ago in a church meeting and we became friends. My wife is a quiet, kind and beautiful woman, any man's dream therefore it was obvious that I fell for her instantly although she always behaved with what I thought was shyness. Not wanting to cuddle with me or only kissing me on rare occasions we both were raised in Christian families in a part of our country that is really religious but unlike me, her parents were always the type who follows the holy doctrine really seriously so she has a traditional way of thinking about religion and how women should behave. So I always thought that it was because of that her behavior is like that. Sometimes I think she looks like a robot. She's nice and kind with everyone but a couple of times I saw her staying all quiet staring into space like if she was dead. Over the years I began to take it as something normal on her personality because she always refused to go to the psychologist and always said that she's just like that. Until two months ago when she found out that the woman who was her best friend in high school was coming back to the town. I never saw her so happy and alive. I felt happy for her thinking that what she needed was a female friend. My wife never used to leave the house, but since that woman is staying in the town, she has been going out as much possible. She became a different person, but not in a bad way. But she looks full of life, and to be honest, I never saw her smile as much as when she tells me that she will go out with her friend for a coffee. For the record, I'm sure she's not sleeping with her because she doesn't know how to lie and her behavior with me never changed. I'm not going to deny it, days ago I started to feel jealous of that woman, that she is the reason why my wife smiles so much and is on her phone all day. Out of pure curiosity three days ago I entered her FB and some albums were public. She had a lot of albums and I found pictures of her and my wife during high school. That woman was hugging my wife as if they were a couple. In some of the photos they were holding hands or looking at each other with bright smiles which is something she never does with me. Her family hates gay people although my wife never talked ill about them but just avoided talking about the topic which now makes sense to me. I don't know whether to confront her because maybe I'm just thinking too much or maybe she's in love with her ex-girlfriend. The only thing I'm sure of is that she only looks happy talking about that woman so I don't know what to do. Edit, I'm sorry if I write something wrong, English is not my first language. Relevant comments. Comment 1. Yes, she does love her friend, because she's her friend. All I saw in your post was a woman being excited that a close friend she hasn't seen in years is coming back, and that there was a picture of them hugging. I'm assuming all this paranoia is from your religious upbringing cuz all I'm seeing is two women are friends. If you should be asking anything it's why didn't you see the clear loneliness your wife was feeling before this friend came back into her life. OP, I referred to the way they held hands especially because my wife and I never held hands. When we started dating every time I tried she told me to not hug her or hold her hands because she doesn't like romantic things. I always respected her boundaries about that so I did get confused when I saw her in pictures like that with another person. We do have a healthy relationship in feelings terms, when I notice she's off we talk although she never wanted to see a psychologist, but she likes to talk about why she feels weird that day but, but always ends up saying that that's her personality. We have been always close friends since we meet but it surprised me when I saw she actually likes being hugged by someone comment too. I think that's pretty odd. Surely at some point your paths would cross, even if you weren't wondering. Does your wife give an explanation as to why the friend wouldn't care? I don't know many people who wouldn't want to meet their best friend's significant other. OP, same, that's why I feel it's odd my wife just says that her friend isn't interested in meeting me and closes the conversation. I feel that if I insist on asking the reason we would end up arguing and I always prefer to avoid that I know her friend left the town to live in the capital and sometimes people become elitist after living there. But that wouldn't make sense since I lived half my life in the capital, and while my family is religious. I was never the strict religious type so I don't get why her friend doesn't want to meet me. Update. Thanks for the advice in my previous post. Although I got few replies, everyone was very friendly. I decided to confront my wife and ask about the photos with her friend during high school. Everyone in the post said that they are most likely just friends and made my mind feel more in peace thinking that I was overthinking but when I showed her the photo she began to breathe fast in what I think was a panic attack. I helped her to calm but then she got upset because I sneaked in her friend FB. I knew she was trying to change the subject because she loves to do that. So I got serious and told her to talk. After a few long minutes full of her trying to change the topic she ended up telling me everything. Indeed she and her friend used to be a couple during high school and friends since kindergarten. They kept the relationship as a secret pretending to be only best friends until my wife's parents found out and beaten her up separating them. Her friend moved to the capital that year and they never saw each other again but for what my wife said and showed, they never stopped loving each other. In some point of the conversation my wife stopped calling her friend by name and without realizing she started calling her Mia Moore, which hurt me because in all years married she never called me like that. I asked her if she was cheating on me with her friend and said that they never kissed or anything. 
but I'm sure she's emotionally cheating me. She doesn't know what's that concept, so she really believes she's not doing anything wrong. The reason why her friend never wanted to meet me or even go to our wedding is because she hates to see her love married to a man she doesn't even like and living a lie, ouch. I asked my wife if she loves me and said yes, but like a best friend, yes, my own wife just friendzoned me. She cried a lot, saying that she's really sorry for lying to me. When we meet, we really clicked as friends and she told me that her parents insisted her to marry me so she could heal. That explained why she never liked to hug, cuddle, or do anything romantic with me. It wasn't because she was shy, but because she didn't like me. I wanted to lose my temper and yell at her. I wanted to cry and even run away because I was patient and empathetic with all the times she rejected my affection and I felt alone. I've even been thinking for years that maybe I'm a bad husband and I was treating her badly without realizing it. Feeling insecure about my own personality, but she assured me that I was never the problem. I didn't cry or yell, I just left the house and came to my sister's house. We didn't talk about divorce or anything like that. I even think my wife doesn't see any problem with what she did with her friend, but I'm sure that I don't want to spend all my life in a loveless marriage with a woman that will never love me back. I'm sorry for the long post I'm just venting at this point but I feel like I wasted all my youth. I didn't expect to update so fast but I needed to talk about that. It's not like I don't feel bad for her. I do but now I feel even worse for myself. Relevant comments. Comment 1. Has she tried contacting you since you left? OP. No not at all. But at least for today I don't want to talk with her neither King Thunderflash. You need to divorce her and go completely NC. You deserve so much better than that toxic woman who has lied to your face for years. I'm sorry OP. OP, I'm sure that I will divorce her although I still didn't tell her that because I want time alone. I felt empathy for her and always saw her as a kind woman, but the fact that she used me totally changed my perception of her. Thanks for your words, final update. Maybe nobody remembers my two first posts, but I wanted to at least post a final update because I'm really thankful for all the kind comments and advice I received. They're helping me a lot. I come back to my house the day after my last update and my ex-wife was there laying in the couch. The first thing I said when I entered was, we're going to divorce. Maybe that wasn't the best way of saying it, but she have the habit of changing the topic when I want to talk about serious things, so I didn't want her to do that this time. She clearly didn't expect that and started to cry and have an anxiety attack saying that we can't divorce. That I can't do that to us, but what hit me harder was there's no point in us breaking up. The fact that I don't love you doesn't change anything. Which is true, I realized that our relationship was always like that, her treating me just like a friend and me accepting that kind of trait. She said that she never cheated or anything like that, even if I explained again what's emotional cheating. I told her that she's not even attracted to man so there's no sense in staying married because we're just not for each other and asked her if she still loved that best friend. She didn't deny it but kept insisting that we shouldn't divorce. I can understand why she was so desperate, but it made me feel used. Like if I was her pathetic beard who she can always use as a shield for herself or a dog who will always be happy with the smallest token of affection. I don't need her signature anyway to get a divorce so even if she doesn't want to, we're 100% going to break up. I told her I'm not going to take her out of the closet but if anyone asks I'll just say the truth avoiding the sexuality topic because I don't want people gossiping and assuming things that didn't happen. The lands and basically all the things of the house are mine and maybe I'm an asshole for this but I told her that I will not give her anything because it's all mine and I inherited the land from my grandfather at this point she just looked sad and defeated so didn't complain or anything although I will get advice from a lawyer to be sure I told her that she can stay until December in the house and she answered that she will be probably have to come back to live with her parents which actually made me feel bad because my ex-in-laws are not good people but for what she said she's still talking with her best friend so luckily she's not alone the conversation finished awkward with me just leaving for now I'm staying at my sister's house, I can have time for myself since she and my other sisters are out of the province for a concert. I didn't talk with my ex-wife after that day, she didn't try to contact me but I know that she told my ex-in-laws about the divorce because they wanted to contact me to ask why we're divorcing but I just answered that. These are things that need to be resolved only between her and me. So this will be probably my last update because I will go and see with my ex-wife after the divorce we don't have children. Sometimes she started talks about having a baby and now I feel really relieved of always saying that I didn't felt ready. Maybe something in me was already already telling me that she wasn't for me, so we don't have anything that tie us together. I have been going to the psychologist since I was a child so I think that has helped me a lot to channel my emotions. Many in the comments said that I shouldn't have empathy or things like that for her but we're both broken people that suffers from a religious trauma and I know how bad that messed to people's mind and heart. Some people in the comments were confused about why I stayed with her when she clearly didn't love me romantically but I don't know. Maybe I always justified her actions because somehow I felt identified with her. Maybe I have a hero complex or maybe my sense of too strong that I felt internally tied up with her and responsible of making her happy as her husband even if she always rejected my romantic love. I don't know, that's something I will talk about and work with my psychologist. Also, I received questions like why I married her in the first place, and she was the one who said we should marry, you know? And I was immature and young at that time, and because we got along well, I thought it was a good idea. 
For now I just want a divorce and then spend time with my family. In general, I feel numb and weird. I haven't cried yet and in the session yesterday my psychologist told me that he thinks I already grieved the relationship a long time ago even if I didn't realize it. I don't feel like I lost a wife but like I lost a close and good friend and company, not a heartbreak but a betrayal. Anyways. I don't want anything to do with her anymore. Maybe I'm being a bad person for abandoning her knowing the type of life she had, but I can't save a person who doesn't want to be saved, and I'm tired of trying. For now, I will just say goodbye. Maybe not to a woman I saw as the love of my life, but to a woman who helped me and was a good friend for years. I'm really thankful about the kind comments people left, even some mean ones which make me think that maybe I'm too quiet with how I reacted. That's something wrong. I was never the temperamental type. I'm sorry if the update is a boring one and not about me starting my villain era, but that's not my style, haha. Thanks everyone. New update. Hello, it's been a while since I posted and sadly the mods deleted the two times I tried to post a final update. I don't know if someone is going to read this, but my sister, she knows about the Reddit posts, showed me that someone posted the story on TikTok. Sadly, I read the comments and beside the account changed a lot of things. I also read all kind of comments assuming things about me that are fake. I want to clarify some things. 1. I never married her because I wanted a submissive woman, we were both like best friends. I don't know why I read comments saying that I wanted a housewife when I didn't. Many times I offered her to work with me but she never wanted to look for a job or study something so I didn't insist because we were doing well financially. 2. I wasn't going to open the relationship for her, luckily I realized I deserve so much better. And to be honest, I already gave up too many things for her to give up. Maybe some people are okay with having a loveless marriage but not me not anymore. 3. I read a lot of the comments saying he should help her, he should be generous with the divorce. But how do you help a person who doesn't want to be helped? I tried for years to help her and now all I do is keep hearing about horrible things she did behind my back that I don't really want to talk about. 4. She used you because she was afraid of coming out. I understand that I do but I deserve that. I deserve to be used? I deserved her to even use my money to buy things for her best friend? I don't think so. We live in an open country. Even one of my sisters is lesbian and married and I know I would have helped my soon-to-be ex-wife in the past if she confessed that to me. 5. We married but she had countless opportunities to tell me the truth, she never cared to see me feel insecure about her. Instead she kept insisting that we should have a baby. Now I realize that she wanted that to make sure that if we divorced she would get something since she never worked or studied. 6. I found out her best friend has a wife and a baby so no, my ex-wife is not with her, and the situation became even more messed up but honestly I don't want to get into that. My ex keep insisting that she never cheated on me with her physically so I think I believe her in that at least. 7. I also suffer from religious trauma and a trauma doesn't make you a bad person that's something that's inside. 8. Nobody forced her into marriage. In my country nobody does that. I asked her why she wanted to marry and she said that her parents told her that she needed to heal and she said I was a good man for her. That's why she used to insist a lot on getting married. So if anyone wants to know how everything ended, I'm getting divorced. But it's a tedious and lengthy process. I'm keeping the house, the car, everything. I'm selfish? Maybe, but I wanted to think of myself once in a lifetime. Working for those things is hard and I dedicated my life to building my house. Me ex-wife is currently living with her brother. She never asked me how I was, neither when I left the house after finding the truth. But I did check if she was fine sending messages the first days asking how she was feeling. I suffered a mental breakdown a few days ago because she keeps sending me texts saying that we should come back together, we should have a child. I never wanted to have a baby with her and she insisted a lot of times in that. And that... It doesn't matter that she doesn't love me, she never loved me and we lived well so I should go on with the marriage for her. It make me realize she's only trying to make me feel guilty so that just made me understand that for her I'm not even inhuman. Maybe I'm not even a dog at her eyes so I just blocked her number. I understand she's anxious because she doesn't have anything but it's not like I've never told her to finish a career so to be honest I just give up on her. I'm too tired of this situation. I don't really know what she's going to do with her life, but I don't care anymore. My psychologist made me realize all the narcissistic traits she has. I want to move on with my life because I deserve that and because I'm tired of being used. So yeah, I don't know if someone is going to read this, but I want to leave this post here because sadly people likes to distort the story. New update 2. Hi. It's been a long time and my other post here got deleted so I gave up on trying to post a final update and forgot about this site but today I saw that someone posted it on a site and I think it is good to post an update because I saw that there are people who keep sending me private messages asking how I'm doing. I deleted the first post to edit a few things. I'm finally divorced. I thought it would take at least 8 months to complete but it was faster than I thought since in my country it takes the signature of only one person for the divorce to be completed. She started making things complicated for me when she realized that we were really going to part ways. She even made up that I had cheated on her when I had only said that we were going to divorce because of differences. 
That way no one would ask. Not even her parents who now think that I'm the one who cheated but I don't care. But as I always say, I got tired of trying to understand her and her actions. She started to bother me a lot, even coming to the house and I didn't want to deal with her anymore so I just gave her a few of the furniture and appliances in the house, even though I paid for everything. It doesn't matter she was a housewife so after all she deserves her share in the divorce and I know her. She would have kept insisting and I was so feeble-minded at that point that I just wanted to stop seeing her forever to be free of her. I guess she came out of the closet herself because now she's dating an older woman and living with her as far as I know. I don't know if she lied to me and I don't want to know it. I don't want to know if that woman is another lover she had. I don't want to know how much they know each other. I don't care. I don't want to hurt myself with that. It's her life so at least now she's being herself. My sisters wanted to go and beat her up when they found out but I told them not to go or she could take advantage of that. I found out about a lot of other things she did behind my back but I don't want to talk about it. Just that I'm a big fool. I hope she can finally be happy and stop using people for her own good, since I know she wasn't happy with me and I wish happiness for myself too. About her best friend, I really have no idea what happened to her. My sister knows that woman's wife and to this day they upload photos together with the baby. My sister couldn't talk about it to that woman's wife because, well, she doesn't have any proof. I've been feeling good, I'm not going to lie and say it's easy. I think people on internet have more empathy for my ex than for me when I talk about this haha. -ha. But I think now I don't care anymore and I rather this J that way because I reject being a victim I have my family and friends being my biggest support. I used to hide a lot of things from my psychologist because I knew that he would tell me that those things are wrong and a big part of me didn't wanted to hear the truth but a few months ago I was totally honest with many things that happened in my marriage. He scolded me a little but has helped me to see all the abusive things that I suffered. Even if it was not something physical I think that mentally they damaged me a lot. I'm not going to play the victim because I refused myself many times to get out of there and keep trying like a fool. I don't see myself as a victim. I've been a victim before and I don't want to feel that way again. I've been going out with my friends to clubs. Having married so young I lost part of my youth because I had to work, study and keep a house so I've been really enjoying partying. Less than a month ago I started dating a girl. It's nothing serious but we enjoy each other's company. It's weird to be with a woman who makes me feel appreciated. And she doesn't look at me with boredom when I talk I'm really quiet. Some people called me sexist for saying that being quiet is a good thing but I never saw it as a flaw. But she's too talkative so it's always good to have a talk with her. My ex-wife and I had almost no intimacy. I have a trauma and it was hard for me to feel comfortable being intimate and now looking back. I thought my ex just wanted to make me feel comfortable but now I see that she used my trauma as an excuse to not touch me. Every time I tried to get comfortable she would just say, you know let's stop this or you'll have nightmares later. I was very stupid too to believe all that. She just didn't want to touch me. But thanks to this girl I've started to enjoy myself and feel comfortable. Not many things happen honestly and I doubt many people would mind about this but I thought it doesn't damage me to post an update. After giving the appliances and furniture to my ex she just totally stopped talking to me. I've been focusing on myself. I feel like I'm too young to be divorced anymore, but I feel good. I feel like this has been my biggest sign to start again and I want to move forward for myself and my family. I think I learned a lot about this as painful as it still is. Relevant comments. Comment 1. So she came out of the closest dating a new woman. What happened to her parents? I thought they were homophobic. Did she move in with his woman? OP. I don't know what happened with her parents. I've always known them to be very closed-minded people, but I don't know how they reacted. I don't know anything. Only that now she has a girlfriend and they live together. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and hit the notification bell to stay updated with more shocking real life stories happening around you.